Hello, this is Matt Love for Before here, and welcome to another video. Now, this is going to be my sort of post match analysis of England versus Slovakia. Um, it's very disappointing. I'm very disappointed right now. Um, I have literally just finished watching the game and I'm going, in, going into the match now. Um, I, I'm looking at the stats as we speak, and it, it's so frustrating. England controlled this game much like they controlled the last game. Uh, against Wales and like they controlled the game against uh, Russia but it's just frustrating to see the England team play so well but not be able to perform in the last third not be, not be able to convert any any sort of opportunity into anything really and it's really frustrating to watch a team do that I mean we had 60% possession over them that, that's that's massive for, for any game of football and it's like we we dominated the whole game Really against Slovakia, we, we we had them. We had thirty shots compared to their four, but as you can see, five only five of those thirty were on target. Our shot to shot on target ratio is was horrible. Five to thirty compared to two to four for Slovakia. Half of Slovakia's shots were on target, like one sixth of ours. One sixth of ours were on target. I mean. That's that's really not good enough. We had so many corners as well, eleven, and we just couldn't make anything from them. Um, like, I, I I'm recording this. I don't know if I said straight after watching the game. It's so frustrating because we dominated the whole game and just we couldn't get anything. We controlled the whole of p play. We controlled the whole of possession. We had the most shots. We we controlled them. We we should have done something. But it's just frustrating because England can't convert in the final third. They can't make anything of these opportunities. But yes, we control the possession, but we're sort of passing it around the outside of the edge of the box. And we can't make the runs into the box. And I'm not sure if that's just because Slovakia had a good defence. I mean, Martin Skirtle was absolutely on fire today. He had a fantastic game, doing especially well to keep England at bay. But we really should have done so much more. We are absolutely dreadful from corners. Our corners are terrible. We had 11, and most of those didn't do anything for us. They just sort of got headed outside of the box again, and then it just sort of loops. It was it was just not good. We need to work on those corners. We need, and as I said last time, our shooting is dreadful. I mean, we brought on Harry Kane, he did nothing. Uh, and after last game where we brought on Vardy and Sturridge, and they did well up front... They didn't do anything for us this time. Vardy made a couple of good runs, so did Sturridge. But they, they, didn't, they weren't clinical enough. Vardy really should have scored. Sturridge should have scored a couple of times. As I said, Skirtle was doing really great. He really kept us at bay. Kozicic as well, their goalkeeper. He was quite good. But really, England should have definitely won that game, at leaving us top of the group. But unfortunately, now Wales have uh, finished top after their fantastic win against Russia. Congrats to them on that one. Gareth Bale and uh, must have done had a great game. And the whole of the Wales team probably played really well. I haven't watched the game, so I can't really tell you. But the fact that they won 3-0 against the side that England drew with just shows you how much of a better side Wales really are. Even though England beat Wales, because England are better than Wales. But England can't perform in the last third, whereas Wales have the finishing ability that we, we lack. Aaron Ramsey's shooting ability is much better than Adam Lallana's, who got one of the easiest opportunities I've ever seen and missed. So did Daniel Sturridge. How, how did he miss that ball? I don't know. But it's frustrating watching England play and not do anything. And it's just really annoying. Like, I'll, I'll go through the lineup again, uh, like I did last time. Joe Hart played fine. Klein, I don't think he was as good as Walker. He tried to be like Walker, but couldn't do it. He He, he wasn't as attacking as Walker and couldn't get good balls in. His balls are going everywhere. Not not as good as uh, Walker, who who managed to get some great balls in the box. Uh, Cahill and Smalling were fine. Bertrand, Danny Rose, again, like Carl Walker, was probably better than Bertrand, so it'd be nice to see them back in the squad for the next game, because obviously we are through, which is a good thing to take from this, but it's frustrating not to win the game, you know. Jordan Henderson wasn't very good, I'm going to say that now. Yes, he made some good plays with Klein, but his ability in the midfield wasn't great. I uh, I'm, I think Wilshere played better than Henderson for the time that he did. And I think Rooney should have come on for Henderson instead of Wilshere. Because Henderson wasn't doing very well. His balls weren't... His passes weren't very accurate. 
and they were going sort of everywhere. They weren't. He wasn't doing very well. Eric Dyer has been fine. He's been great at the back. He's been doing pretty solid. No complaints about him. Uh, Deli Ali came on for Adam Lallana. Bit controversial because Lallana has been doing great, but his finishing ability is very lacking. He gets into those great positions, but he can't do anything with the ball, which is what, why I think they bought Deli Ali. But Deli Ali doesn't have the attacking ability that Lallana does, and although he's got better shooting, he's got a better shooting ability than Lallana. He doesn't have the ability to get into the same position as Adam Lallana does. So uh, I think Ali probably should have come on for maybe Henderson or Wilshire instead. Uh, Harry Kane come on for Sturridge, which was a bit debatable. Again, I'm, I'm going to bring it back to Henderson. I think Kane should have come on for Henderson, but put that three up front because that's what got us so that's what made us so deadly in the last game, putting Sturridge, Vardy and Rashford up front all together and they pushed on the pressure. But again, we were applying pressure and... And the uh, commentators keep on uh, bringing that to attention, the England push uh, push on the pressure. But what England don't do is get in the box, or at least they didn't in this game. They were, they, they were staying outside of the box. And you saw in the last game what happens when we do get into the box. Sturridge scored that goal when he managed to uh, get into the box with Deli Alli. Um, Jamie Vardy today didn't perform, uh, but I just think that's because not enough balls got to him, you know. He, You can't perform if you don't get any decent balls, and because nobody was really supplying him, then, you know, it's kind of hard for him to do anything without the ball. Uh, I, uh, it, 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 I don't... I, I'm not the manager, so I can't really give a good point of view, but it, it's just... I just want England to be better at finishing. They need to be pushing the ball more into the box... More making more attacking runs instead of uh, passing the ball around outside the box, which is a thing that they did loads today. Henderson kept on passing it back to Smalling at the halfway line. He didn't. He, he should stop doing that. Pass it out to Klein. Pass it out wide. That's where we're good. Pass it out wide, then cut in. That's what we were doing in the Wales game, and it worked for us. Um, hopefully, we can do well on uh, next Monday, I believe it is, where we'll be playing one of the Group F teams, and it's either Hungary, I- Iceland, Portugal, or Austria. And I mean. All four of those teams haven't been great. I mean, Hungary's probably been doing the best out of them all. Uh, Iceland have been doing good too, but Portugal have been dreadful uh, at the moment. Ronaldo, they're relying on Ronaldo too much, and he's been he's been terrible. And Austria have just been absolutely dreadful. Again, like Portugal, they're relying on David Alaba to do too much, and it's not really working for them. They, they haven't been playing very well. So either of those teams, I reckon, will be fine to come up against. But if we come up and, like... Coming up against Iceland will be fine as well, or Hungary, to be honest. We've got very lucky again with the fact that we're going into an easy game. But it's whether we've got that finishing in the last third, again, if we can score, that's going to take us to the next round or not. We need to be able to put balls into the back of the net, which is what we can't do at the moment. I And, and yeah, like people need to be ma- making good balls into the middle. Henderson made some dreadful balls. Wilshire didn't make some very good ones, and Dyer and Ali were too busy, too concerned on shooting. Lana's a bit of a dribbler. Like Rooney needs to be on the pitch to control the midfield and get him into the get the balls into the middle. I think if Rooney had started, maybe he would have controlled the team a little bit better than Cahill did as captain, and that might have helped the team out a bit better as well to help with the attacking movements as well. It would have been it would have been great to see him start maybe, but you know, hopefully we can do well in the next game against one of the Group F teams, it's all still to play for over there. We'll be playing the second place team, so at the moment that's Iceland or Portugal, they're joint there at the moment. Uh, but I think it's Iceland on goals four or something. Yeah, So hopefully we can do that and get through to the next round after that and maybe progress further, but we definitely need to work on our shooting. I'm going to keep on saying it, but that's, that's, that's true. We can't convert in the final third, and that's what we definitely need to work on. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you next time.